Hey everybody, welcome to Hungry Generation TV. My name is Brittany and we are here again to continue our exclusive interview with evangelist Andre Shapoval. He shared with us in our last uh, interview, the last time that you guys were with us, more about his life, how he met Jesus Christ and what God has been doing in his ministry. And we just want to go deeper, know a little bit more and find out how God is continuing to move in his midst and within his min ministry. So Andre, we welcome you back Thank here with you. us. Thank you. I'm enjoying to be here. Thank you so much for being with us. So Andre, as you've explained a little bit about your ministry, we just want to know more. So what was the first miracle that you saw within your ministry and what has God been doing since? I got married. That's the biggest miracle. And then, <laughs> and then uh, we start prayer in our, in our apartments. And I, I do remember one time we pray in a circle and there is a one girl, I knew her from, for a long time uh, because she's a wife of mine, a good friend of mine. And we pray together and, and suddenly she just poof, fell on the floor and uh, I was like wow something something unusual happened you know and then when she stood up and she said she used to have a stomach problem uh, from all holy I mean from the child she 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 had problem with the stomach and since that prayer the pain went away forever till today she's totally healed and I was like wow this is cool I need to do this more you know <laughs> and then how I start praying for people since that day wow so now that you've been on all these crusades all around the world, different countries and the continent of Africa, Europe, and the U.S., uh, what kind of miracles do you see now in your midst? First of all, not all the world, but we're going to go there. Amen. <laughs> but we work more than 26 countries now. Wow. And, uh, and, and we see all kind of miracles, all kind of miracles. And, uh, and uh, last time in Africa, uh, we saw we saw so much miracles in five nights cru uh, crusades. We saw so so many miracles, and I, I do remember this woman. She was blind from childhood, and she born blind. And on, in the crusades, I think in the third or four days of crusade, God, the power of God touched her, and she starts seeing people. And wow. first thing what she what she does, she start coming to people and hug them, and. It was incredible. Everybody was crying there to see that. But we, we see so much miracles. And, and not all the time, but a lot of time people jump in from the wheelchair. But like uh, creeper people, they start walking. And paralyzed people start walking. And blind start seeing. And, and I give praise to God. And especially many, del many deliverance. Because we go places where the witchcraft. You know, witchcraft control the whole city, whole villages. Yeah. And when we see the anointing break that, you know, when the power of God break that and change the atmosphere in the city, it's amazing because we see deliverance all the time and people manifest manifestation. And mm -hmm. I remember we did crusade last year. We did crusade in Mexico, and 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 the the the, the deliverance was all over the field. Wow. All over the field and people start throwing up. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> it's just, you know, so nasty. But at the same time, you, you, you feel joy inside because you know what God is doing. He delivered people. He set them free. And this is just amazing. Wow, that's really cool to hear how God took the ministry of miracles of healing and deliverance from your home in a prayer meeting all the way to ministering yes. in big stadiums. Yes where people are getting saved and yes. healed by the thousands. So we really yes. thank God for And I, I remember God, God teach me to uh, serve one person. And, and, and because, you know, when Jesus spoke to me that I will go around the world, mm -hmm. and I thought it's going to happen the next day, you know? <laughs> right. But praise God for my wife. She said, you need to read Bible at least once before you're going to go and <laughs> preach. You need to know, at you need to read Bible at least once. So I decided to read Bible from the Genesis to the Revelation. <laughs> and, and I started 15 years ago and never stopped till this day. And, and, and the thing is that... Um, it's happened after seven years, but I remember one night uh, that God spoke to me. He said, I will teach you to serve one person. So I believe everything starts, something, everything big starts with a small, mm -hmm. small thing. And we cannot ignore that. That's the process. Wow. Praise God. So you've mentioned before that just having a desire to know the Lord is not enough, that the relationship between God and man must bear fruit. So for the benefit of our viewers and people who are going to watch this maybe later on and even in a year from now, um, what can you say for people who want to step out into the power of God but they think, I'm just an ordinary person, I'm a regular person, what is your advice to them? Uh, I usually thought that to serve God, you need power, you need, you know, anointing and, 
uh, you need miracles and uh, you need to have a uh, gifts. Uh, but the more I start seeking God, the more I was chasing His heart, the more He started revealing to me, it's all about love. It's all about love. And like I usually, usually say is this, because uh, God created us on His own image. Mm -hmm. And the image means nature of God. So God is love, and He created us from love, and He created us for love. So when He created man, First, what he give man is dominion, but the first place where he put the man, it's Eden. The Eden, it's a presence of God. So everything we do, we have to do from love. Everything we do, we have to do from the presence of God, from his nature. So the more, the more I'm in his presence, the more he's telling me what to do. And the more I do what he's telling me to do, I experience to God. Uh, I'm dying for myself. And the more I'm dying for myself, the more I allow God's nature to grow in me, His love grow in me. So through obedience, I die for myself. Through love, I serve others. So I believe when I when person says, I love God, oh, I love Jesus, I want to see His love, uh, His life, His life. I want to see how much He loves people, yeah. how much He cares about people, how much He cares about His uh, wife and children. Whatever He do, I believe the more I love God, the more I, uh, the, that love of God expressed through my love to people. Uh, to, to people, I want to know, I want to see, I want to see people healed, not because I'm enjoying that, that process or I'm excited about miracles. Yeah, I do excited about miracles, but I do this because I have compassion and love for those people. And, and, I, and I, I believe God is suffering. He's, he has such a compassion to see people, people's freedom and to see people heal. And that's how much He loves them. Mm -hmm. So I believe the more you love God, the more you will love people. And to love people, everybody can do it. Come yeah. on, you can start with, with that, you know. Amen. Just see people's need and go and do something. Go so, do something. You want to you wanna be happy? Make somebody happy. Amen. So just to sum it up for those people who are watching, it's really all about loving God, which now gives you the ability to love people. And in the midst of serving and loving people, the power of God will be manifested. But between that, you, it, this is what I want to mention. When you love God, because we still, we saw um, all people, they have pride and, 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 and uh, they have uh, ego, 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 right? Yeah. That's the right word? That's the right word, yes. Yes. And, and, and so I believe when you love God, Holy Spirit is telling you something for you to obey mm -hmm. and, and He's telling you to do something and when He's telling you to do something and you obey that's how you died for your ego, you died for yourself and when you died for yourself you allowed God's nature to grow in you mm -hmm. because you cannot just come and love people you need to have that nature in you, you know. You need to die for your ego and for your issues and, and allow the, the nature of God to grow inside of you. So the more I spend time with Him, the more He's telling me what to do. Mm -hmm. The more I do what He's telling me what to do, I'm dying for myself and I allowed His nature to grow in me. The more His nature grow in me, the more I express love. I love people, not because I'm pretending that I love them. I love them because I love them, Amen. you know, yeah. and that's how we serve people. Wow, so it's really refreshing to hear that ordinary people, regular people just like you and me can move in the power of God and can really make a difference in our generation, within our communities, our nation, just simply by loving God, being obedient, and, and listening to what He says and going out and fulfilling the Great Commission that He's given yeah, to you us. Yeah, I mean, some people, they just think, like, you, you need to start when you hear that voice, you know, mm -hmm. like, oh, my son, beloved son, my daughter, you <laughs> must do this, I command you, I send you. No, we start from, from that love inside of us that, that keep us eye, eyes open for the people's needs. And Amen. when you see people's needs, come on, don't wait for somebody, go and do something. Amen. Go and do something so we can do, all of us, we can start with this, you know. Mm -hmm. We love God. If you love God, show me how much you love Him. Mm -hmm. You know, just see the people and see the needs and go and do something about it. Wow, that's really wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing. And we also know that you have an international Bible school that you have here in the United States. So we just want to know a little bit more about the vision of the Bible school and what makes this upcoming year so special within the Bible school. A um, couple of years ago, I was in the presence of God. I love to go and spend time with God. 
and uh, I'm not promoting this, I'm just telling you, I love to do this, uh, no matter how busy we are. I love to separate my time and run from the city and close myself and just be with God, me and God. And I practiced this for many years. And I remember one time I, I, I went to that quiet place mm -hmm. in a different city and I was spending time with God and uh, God spoke to me. He said, do you see results of that when you, when you, when you separate yourself, when you disconnect from everything, do you see results? I said, yes, I see results. He said, I want you to start doing this and help people to disconnect from this world system and connect with the kingdom system. Mm -hmm. So he starts showing me that he's calling me uh, and this ministry, not just me as an Andre, but the vision that he gave us and the ministry to become a Moses. And, 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 and let people go from that slavery. The slavery in our mind, the poverty spirit is not just finances. It's a lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. It's a lack of revelation. It's a lack of understanding the kingdom system. So he started revealing to me those things. And he said, I want you to start a school. And school will be seven days. And I want you to, to, to allow people to disconnect for everything and come and live and stay and be there for seven days, eat together, sleep together. I mean, in, in a hotel, but I'm saying <laughs> just, just be in that place for seven days, mm -hmm. forget about everything. And, 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 and the people will see big changes. Mm -hmm. I will open the heaven, I will pour out my spirit and wisdom and power, mm -hmm. and people will disconnect themselves. And God, is help, God will help them to renew their mind because it's all about to renew our mind, the spirit of our mind. So that's how it starts. And I start by, by faith. Mm -hmm. And there is other details uh, what God showed me, but this school, will help people discover themselves, find themselves in Christ mm -hmm. and their destiny and calling and purpose through renewal of their mind and uh, through disconnecting and God will set free, set them free from that slavery, slavery in their mind. So what are some of the testimonies that maybe you have from uh, We have a lots of testimonies. <laughs> Families restore. That's, that, it's so powerful mm -hmm. to see uh, I, I we have bunch of uh, lots of testimonies like this. Some couple said they they've been uh, saving money to go to Dubai for vacation, mm -hmm. but they decided to go extra of vacation to go Kingdom Domain School. Wow. So they invest money into the Kingdom Domain School and they went to school and they had issue big problems in the family. Dubai cannot help you. So they went to Kingdom Domain. In that Kingdom Domain School, got totally restored their family. Wow. And, and, and now they, 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 they serve God together, husband and wife. And we have so many testimonies like this. God healed people, God delivered people. And uh, we're so excited that even your pastor is minister. Since, since I think second school, he started going to our school and we're so blessed by his ministry. But, but the thing is that God restored people. That's the most important. Mm -hmm. God set people wow. free. And, and in different areas, in a business area, in a relationship area, you know, in, in health and in deliverance and in different areas. So God restores people's life, not Amen. just to have a ministry, but to live that lifestyle. Amen. Thank God. So, you know, you mentioned uh, that our own Pastor Vlad is going to be ministering at the school and he has been for some time now. Who are some of the other uh, ministers who are going to be coming to uh, the school and, and sharing more about the Word of God? Me. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> that's the ego right there. Uh, that's a pride right there. I forgive me, Jesus, please. Um, of course, if God called me to do that, I have to release what He showed me. Mm -hmm. uh, but the same time, the same time, um, I'm I'm praying to 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 see what God, who God wants to be there. You know, the, the people who really move prophetically in this season right mm -hmm. now, yeah. in this time. And, 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 uh, and God starts showing me. Mm -hmm. He showed me your pastor. He showed me, he showed me Roman Trachuk. He This school, he showed me Nathan Morris. He showed me some prophet Dixon. He, mm -hmm. he showed me um, Roy Field, who's going to lead the worship. And, and, and so we see the whole movement right now. And God is raising up the leaders, worldwide leaders right now, who will lead 
these people like Joshua did to the promised land, to the, to the end of time and to that season of revival. So I'm so excited. I'm, I have so much expectation. And especially this school, 2018, in January, from 8 to 13, uh, because I have promise from God. I was spending time with God, and He said to me that, do you remember the scripture that uh, G Jesus uh, was with the people for three days? And He said, I cannot, uh, I cannot just let them go unless I will feed them. Mm -hmm. So on the, on the four days, He feed them. Mm -hmm. And he spoke to me, he said, for three years, you did, we did that school. And to be honest, that's what the Holy Spirit spoke to me. He said, we did that school. I was so excited to hear that because he said, we did that school. And he said, there's lots of knowledge been um, released and uh, lots of good things that been released. But he said, in a four year, I will manifest my power. I will feed people. I will feed that needs. I will release something, something that they never experienced before. So I'm expecting this kingdom domain. We call the kingdom in power. We, we, we're expecting that God will do something amazing, something that beyond those three years would happen in that school. So I'm so excited. I want to invite you. Come, don't miss this. Amen. Well, viewers, we thank you so much for joining us on this interview with Evangelist Andre Shapoval. We're going to be showing you a video here shortly of more about the school so you guys can see what's going on. But Andre, before we let you go, if you could just pray for our viewers. We know that there's so many people who are watching us even right now that maybe you have sickness in your body or you're dealing with uh, some sort of bondage. And Andre is going to pray for you right now. And we believe that God Almighty is going to set you free in Jesus' name. Yes, please stretch your hands to the camera and believe with me. Just believe with me that God Almighty can visit your home right now through this prayer. Just believe. I feel that in my heart. I see something right now, and I want to release that. Jesus, I thank you so much for everyone who's watching us right now. I thank you that people are watching in Canada, in different countries, in different places, even all over the United States. I see people watching me, and I'm praying that God will touch you where you are right now. In Jesus' name, Father, I release your anointing. I release your power. And with your anointing, I destroy every demonic plans right now. I destroy every demonic plans father I want to release people I want you to release people on the destiny Lord I thank you for the purpose that you have it have for them I thank you for your plans and only you know our purpose because you create us father and like you said only I know the plans that I have towards you thoughts towards you so I pray that God God will touch you right now and show you the way because he is the way the truth and the life in the mighty name of jesus i bless everyone who's watching us everyone who's watching us i see lady you're about four years old you have big big stomach issue stomach problem god is healing you right now right now i see man you have drinking problem and you sitting on the couch right now and and you see this do you see this this video and God is touching you because you feel the heat in your body God is touching you God is delivering you right now from that alcoholism he's delivering you from the fear because you drinking because of the fear thank you Holy Spirit you drinking because of the fear God is delivering you from the fear and he's delivering you from the alcoholism everyone who's watching me right now just receive it in Jesus name receive it receive your miracles receive your healing receive Receive the power of God, receive the knowledge, receive the wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus. And, and if you're watching me right now and you never confess your sin and you never receive Jesus into your heart like is a personal saver, believe me, he's bigger than, than, than religion. He's not, he's, he's not God of religion. Believe me, he's the creator. He creates you for reason, for your destiny. And you can find yourself in him. You can, you can see yourself in Him. And I pray that you will receive Jesus right now. If you're watching me and God is touching your life, just say this with me. Say, God, I am yours. I'm coming to you, Jesus. I believe you that you are the Son of God. I open my heart. I'm tired. I'm tired to try my own. I'm tired, Jesus. Just set me free. Deliver me. I'm receiving you as a personal saver. Wash me with your blood. Cleanse me. Deliver me. Set me free. 
and I want to follow you for the rest of my life. Just say this with your own words. Believe with me and I know that God is visiting your home right now, your heart and your mind in Jesus' name. Wow, thank you so much, Andre, for joining us today. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much for being with us. And viewers all over the world, we believe that you have been touched greatly by this interview and by the special prayer offered to you by Evangelist Andre Shapoval. And if you are one of those people who have been touched and God Almighty has healed you or delivered you through this prayer, we want to hear from you. So make sure you stay connected with us by liking us on our fake Facebook page and following us on Instagram and Twitter. We believe that God Almighty is going to continue to do more in your life. So make sure that you stay connected. Tell us your testimony. We want to hear from you in Jesus' name. Once again, thank you so much for joining us today and remain blessed in Jesus' name.